even though WordPress is an incredibly flexible CMS, some areas, like the footer, are still hard to customize. In this video, we're going to look at how to do exactly that without needing to know how to code. Now, if you do a search for how to change the footer text on a theme, you'll get a lot of tutorials that recommend that you go to themes and then editor and make actual changes to the themes code. This is not recommended for several reasons. First, if you don't know what you're doing, you risk breaking your website. Second of all, if the theme is ever updated, then you're going to lose the changes that you've made. So you should never make a change to a WordPress theme through the theme editor, especially if you have downloaded it from the WordPress theme repository. Instead, we're going to look at a free plugin called Real-Time Find and Replace. If we go to Plugins Add New and then search Real-Time Find and Replace, we'll find this plugin. And then if we click Install Now and Activate, we'll have a new area under Tools called Real-Time Find and Replace. This will allow us to search for any text on our website and then replace it. And it doesn't just have to be footer text either. If we've noticed we've misspelled a word a lot somewhere on our website, instead of going through every post and page and fixing the misspelling manually, we can use this plugin to make the change across the entire site very easily. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to use it to change the footer text. And we're going to do this across a few themes so that you can see how to do it for your specific theme. So there's a couple of things we can do here. One is we can highlight the specific text we're looking for and then replace it. So we can highlight and then copy. We'll go back to our plugin and click add. We can then paste the text and then replace it with whatever we want. If we click Update Settings, however, you'll notice that nothing has changed. And that's because there is some HTML code included in the text that we're trying to replace. So the way that we want to do this is by actually viewing the source code. Now I'm using the Chrome browser, but you can do this in Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge or whatever browser you happen to be using. We're going to do this by right clicking anywhere on the page and then clicking View Page Source. This will bring us to the HTML code that makes up the web page. And instead of sifting through all of this code to find what we're looking for, we can simply do a find by pressing Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC and then doing a search. So we saw that the theme was from Anders Naren. So if we search for Anders, it'll bring us to the area we want to modify. And again, we'll see some HTML code here. We are going to grab everything within this paragraph. So we see P class F right. We're going to grab everything between the opening P or paragraph tag and the closing P or paragraph tag. The slash P means that this is the end of the paragraph. So that includes everything from this beginning span tag all the way over to the closing A or anchor tag. We're going to copy this and we're going to go back to our plugin and paste the text there. Now we'll click Update Settings. We'll go back to our website and refresh. And you can see that it says thanks for visiting. So let's do this one more time with the copyright link. Instead of having just the current year, we're going to change this to the range of years the site has been active. So again, we're going to right click and view page source. And we're going to do a find in the source for 2019. 
Now, while it's true we just want to replace the current year, if we just do a find and replace for the current year, it will replace it everywhere, including on blog posts. So we'll want to grab the copy character before it too. And uh, this little bit of code, right? This ampersand copy semicolon uh, tells our browser to display the copyright symbol. So we're going to grab this whole thing, go back to our plugin, and we're going to add a new find and replace box. We're going to paste copy 2019, and we're going to replace that with 2003 to 2019. One thing to note here is that when the year turns over, we are going to have to double check this and change the year to 2020 and then change the ending year to 2020 as well. We can use something called regular expressions to get a little fancier in what we're looking for in the find box, but they're a bit complicated and your results may vary depending on what you're trying to do. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as possible. So we'll click update settings again. We'll go back to the page and refresh. And now we see copyright 2003 to 2019. Now you might be wondering, how do we get rich text in our footer? Maybe we want to add a link or bold or italicize something. And that's a great question. The way we're going to do that is by going to new, page and we're going to just use the editor to generate the HTML that we want. We're not actually going to save this page. So let's say we want to italicize the thanks for visiting. We can do that by writing thanks for visiting and then we can highlight and click italicize. In order to grab the proper formatting, with the block editor that we see here, we're going to need to click on more options, click as edit as HTML, and then copy the thanks for visiting text. Notice that we're skipping the opening and closing paragraph tags. We don't need that. We're just looking for the EM or emphasize tags. So we'll copy that. We'll go back to our plugin area. We'll paste in our newly formatted text and we'll click update. Now, if we go back to the front end and refresh, you'll see that our text is italicized. So with that done, why don't we go ahead and change our theme to something different? Currently, we're using the Radcliffe theme by Anders Noren. So in the customizer area, we'll click change and we'll choose a different theme. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click on live preview on Lingonberry, which is also by Anders Noren. And if we scroll to the bottom, you'll notice something interesting here. First is that our range of text has stayed, but our thanks for visiting has not. That's because the HTML has changed slightly here, and so we're not finding the right text. However, with our copyright line, the HTML did not change, so the find and replace has worked. This is the most important thing to consider when you're looking at your own theme. The HTML may not be the same. So let's change to a theme that's completely different, one that's not written by Anders Noren. And let's go ahead and choose the 2019 theme. We'll click Live Preview, and then we'll click Activate and Publish. If we go back to our front end area, you'll see that we have a completely different footer. So our current find and replace options do not work here. But we're going to do the same thing that we did in the other theme. We're going to right click and click view page source. And the text that we're looking for here is proudly powered by WordPress. So if I type proud, we'll see that this footer area comes up. And this footer HTML is a little bit more complicated than the Anders Noren HTML. So we actually want to grab everything within this div class site info. 
you'll see that we have the ending tag here. So we'll start with this opening A tag and we'll copy all the way to this closing A tag. This is what we want to find. So if we go back to our admin, to our plugin area, we'll keep both of these just in case we want to switch back to Radcliffe. But we'll add a new area and we'll paste in what we want to find. What we want to replace it with is a full copyright line that is linked with our name. So to do that, we'll use the same technique that we did to grab the italicized text. And we'll type out our full text. So we'll do copyright 2003 to 2019 Joe Casabona. And then we'll want to link this to our website. So we'll highlight our text, click the link, and add the URL. We'll then click more options, click edit as HTML, and grab the copyright text. Remember, we want to exclude the P and closing P tags. We'll go back to our admin and we'll paste in our newly copied text. Now, something you can do if you want to get fancy is you can grab the copyright symbol and replace that with the word copyright. We'll click update settings and then we'll go back to the front end of our website. After we refresh, you'll see our brand new footer text here. So that's it for this video. That's what we can do with two themes, Radcliffe and 2019. But this technique works on any theme that you can use with WordPress. The important thing you need to do is right click on the page and go to view page source and then search for the text that you want to replace. Remember, it's incredibly important not to make edits to the actual theme files because you have the strong potential of breaking your site and if the theme ever gets updated you will lose those changes that's it for this video if you liked it be sure to click the like button down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content